Hi, <laughs> I'm back. Um, obviously, you can see that. I just, I was thinking about something because something peculiar happened yesterday, and it was, it was odd, but ultimately good. Or maybe not the thing itself, but like what it led to. Um, I've just taken a shower. Awesome oh, hair is all over the place. Uh, I, I was feeling strange, like physically strange. I was, um, don't, don't be all yellow. I can see that you're trying to fuck me up here. Don't be rude. You're, you're rude. Look at you. That's terrible, camera. Anyway, um, I was feeling strange. I was, I was, ah, uh, I started shaking my head like, mm, cause I was lightheaded and I was just, borderline dizzy so in so much a fact that I decided to go sit down and uh, so I did that and uh, I realized I hadn't been really drinking a lot of water or anything at all so I, I took a little break I rested and I drank water and um, it, 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 I don't want to say it passed but because that's wrong it's more like nothing ever came of it uh, the light the light the lightheadedness stayed but I was never properly dizzy so I rested for a bit and then I um you know, it didn't get worse, at least. It, it, it stayed, but I eventually decided to go make that cup of tea that I've been thinking about earlier. So I, I did, and uh, then I sat down with uh, with my computer, with my laptop, you know, and I, I, I Skype opens automatically when I open the computer. So I had like this offline message to some warden to me when I wasn't there. So I kind of re replied to that, but then, you know, I, I left. I, I closed down and I closed my browser too, and I, I didn't multitask at all. It, it was just, just a t time for myself, just a breather, a break, time for myself, you know, by myself, and you know, millions of tabs, you know, people, you know, things, you know. What I did was I watched, um, because like I was, I was, I was hot. I was, I was warm. I was like bust like buzzing a little bit and so lightheaded and it was unpleasant it was really unpleasant and it started making me uncomfortable just in general so i felt like i needed something to ground me um so i watched who's mine and when i didn't have to put my cup away all the time i could just hold it so i sat there and i held my cup my warm hot cup of tea and i watched his line and two minutes into it I relaxed. I could just feel myself relaxing. It was so relaxing. Uh, it was wonderful. And I laughed. I laughed out loud. I, I, I did. And it just, you just smile and you laugh. And it's such a, a happy, joyful, um, silly, um, funny thing uh, that if you're not familiar with, with it, you should definitely search YouTube for whose line is it anyway, because I love it. <laughs> it is, it is seriously amazing. It is this, it's an improv show with four performers um, making up everything that you see. They do these um, short improv games and it's seriously hilarious. And I love their faces. Uh, their actual faces too, but I wasn't, I wasn't really being literal. I meant their personalities. I, I love them as comedians. They're really funny, they're adorable. Um, and uh, they're quick, they're really quick, the things they make up and things they say, it's really funny. Um, I was going to say where it started, but I realized it actually started as a radio thing. But then it also ran as a TV thing for 10 seasons in, uh, in uh, England. And then it ran for 10 seasons in the US <laughs> as a TV thing. So I, and um, then it was off the air for a couple of years. And... It's back. <laughs> it's back. They're making new episodes um, right now, currently, present day. Uh, it's on the CW, and it's like same people. So they're older, but they're just as funny, <laughs> if not funnier. So seriously, check that out. I decided to watch uh, a bit from the '90s of the U.S. run, and it was it was so funny. And those people are so delightful. And 
seriously and it was just like I haven't seen it in so long and it was like um, it was like coming home and it was a very very good reminder that uh, I definitely need to do that and definitely need to take a break and um, just be with myself and enjoy the things I enjoy because I, I do things that I enjoy now all the time of course it's not that I don't but it's always like ah, all over the place and millions of tabs and all that and I need to just stop and just be in the moment and really just let, let myself feel it be, like enjoy the thing instead of being like here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing you know and it was very nice and very important and I had a persistent headache for the rest of the evening um, but the lightheadedness uh, kind of went away gradually I didn't even think too much of it because it was it was it was per mile so I could live my life and walk around my home and stuff without it really being being too bad and bothering me it was it was unpleasant but it was okay and then I just had that headache and so I felt okay um it was nice to have that reminder to to really because I used to I, I've done it once or twice I have just just here sat down and done a similar thing and just enjoyed something uh, while kind of blocking everything else out and just taking a breather but I, I miss I miss that I used to have that all the time I I used to have that on a daily basis I just I, I put my earbuds in and I listened to a podcast and I would go around strolling in the forest and just enjoying the present, enjoying the moment, the scenery, the fresh air, the funny comedy podcast, the... <laughs> uh, and I miss it, I miss it just in general, but obviously I mostly miss being out in the forest walking with her. Um, but it's like, it's like a magnet, you know, when you have two that kind of cancel each other out. It's like that when I, when I go there, you know, I have to fight for it. And I don't know if I have the strength to actually, like, do that. I've, I've been there a handful of times. Four. I can count them. Four times. And I, j I can't even walk. I, I, I have to, I stop and I can't walk forward. I just walk a couple of steps and then I stop because I... I just can't walk. I, I I just cry and cry. I just I I, I I like can't make myself. It takes so long. Um, it hurts so goddamn much, and I just feel like I keep thinking of this movie that I love that I've seen countless times. Um, in this movie, it's uh, a <clears throat> the main character says that it's it's gone. It's all gone. And that's how I feel. I feel like, you know, going there, it's... Going there, actually to the forest, it's like... It's nice, but, you know, it's not the same. It's, uh... It's gone. It's all gone. And another person then tells the main character that you know, she brought you something special when she came here, didn't she? That's what you hold on to. And I know that. That's that's what I, why I keep thinking about everything, and especially now. Um, the, the silly adventures, the smiles, the happiness, the, that's, that's, you know, the fun we had, you know, that's, you know, what I hold on to, that's how I keep her alive, by going out there, and, and I need to keep going, you know, <laughs> um, but, um, very difficult, very, um, it's one thing to say it, and know it, and then actually do it, it's, uh, they're two separate things, and it's not very easy to do. 
And I miss it so much. So, so, so much. And if I could just start doing it, you know, kind of gradually, <laughs> I know that it would, like, benefit me. I would, like, it would, I would, ugh, um, <laughs> just, it would, it would be great for me to be out there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh. I'm sorry. I lost track of everything. <sighs> yeah. I should just really start taking I if I could somehow manage to just start taking walks again. Then I think it would be really good for me. And it would be easier the more I did it. Um, but starting to do it, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just miss it. A lot. I guess I need to stop focusing on the fact that it's it's not the same because it's never gonna be the same. But you know, it's no, it it. But that doesn't mean that it's all gone. That's the lesson that you know. That's what I hold on to. That's how I keep her alive. You know. Mm. I, don't know. I have a friend that says that we never agreed on that movie. Like I see it, glass half full. <laughs> you know. You happy, happy times, you know, in the end you you gotta pick yourself up and, and learn stuff. Good stuff happened, bad stuff happens, you know. And in the end she's just like, No, it was a soul crushing movie. Like it's soul crushing. You just that's just you know. That's just it. You don't really crush your soul and then it's over. <laughs> but I'm like, but there's a moral lesson and the class is half full and it's, it's positive even though bad things happen because it, it has to be you know bad things keep happening and and if if you don't if you're not okay with that and you know you have to be positive be optimistic and do 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 you know but I don't know I'm starting to agree with her some things are just so crushing and that's that hmm. well that's very negative. Hello, Mr. Kettle. Would you like to dance? Yes, thank you. I would like that. I will see you later. Maybe tomorrow. Last time I promised to make a video, like in my next video, I'm gonna be talking about. And then I didn't make a video for 300 years, so. But we'll see when I vlog again. Uh, it will be fairly soon, at least. So, toodles. <laughs>